Jao Cancelo has been absolutely incredible for Man City in the Champions League this season and he has been given a brilliant looking left back item. It is a bit unfortunate he's not a right back but it wouldn't make sense for him to be a right back when he's played left back but for FIFA purposes would have been much better as a right back with him being right footed. Nonetheless we're going to try this cat out today and hopefully it's a good item. I can't see it being bad but we will find out how it performs today and we'll also find out if it's worth investing this amount of coins into this fullback. If you need some coins to improve your team, look no further than IG Vault for the cheapest coins on the market and don't forget to use the code Kieran to get yourself a discount at the checkout. There's a chance to win some free coins just by clicking the link in the description too. So looking at this card, what do we have? Four star, four star, very nice. Couple of traits, but none of them really applicable to us. But in regards to in-game stats, there is some really, really nice attributes. And for a defender, um, technically he is all also very very good then passing stats they're pretty they're, they're, they're pretty amazing for this stage of the game for a defender they are amazing and you can say the same for the dribbling as well like an 89 ratings for reactions ball control dribbling and composure brilliant to see obviously decent pace and to be fair the shooting also is not bad for once again a defender but when it comes to what's important for him his defense he's also got some good stats nice interceptions good stand tackling and a decent slide tackle rating too Physically though, although he's got good stamina and fairly good jumping for someone who's six foot, his strength obviously is lacking and that's a little bit of a shame considering his position. We are though going to boost his strength using the anchor chem style. I feel like uh, you've got a choice. You can go for shadow and max out his pace and make his defending pretty cool or you can give him very good pace still, make his defensive stats still really, really good and improve his physicals a decent amount by using anchor and I think that overall is probably the best option for him especially that big boost in strength i feel like that'll be very very beneficial or at least hopefully will be also a quick note if you're interested i'm gonna review the h3 rated bot time on my second channel link in the description make sure you check it out there's a bunch of other team the group stage reviews on there as well game number one then okay nice team everyone has five track benzema now don't they everyone Kinsella skips past one Bernardo gets past another and now does a chance. Bit of a break on here. He's not going to fully commit, so we've got a bit of space to cross. We've found the head of Kovacic, but the header was not really controlled. Cancelo loves to get forward. Like, just naturally likes to get forward. Oh, he's put for a good ball then. Players just weren't reacting around. Okay, so half time in this one. Cancelo's been pretty good, to be fair. Really liking him so far, especially when he gets forward. He feels quick and his passing is very, very good. Oh, I was going to say good work from Cancel to catch up Di Maria there, but he just had a bit too much and held us off. I was coming through, but Cancel deals with it just not in the most convincing manner. And he's missed the ball again. And there's full time. Unfortunately, we don't get the win in this one. I thought Cancel went all right, to be honest. Um, the goal obviously was a bit at fault for. I maybe could have done a bit better with my decision making, but ultimately we lost that game more because we didn't take our chances. Game number two, Premier League side with Marquinhos and Hakimi. All yours, Cancelo, all yours. Oh, unlucky. Nice, good work. Great work. Chance. Oh, should have been taken. And is. Bottheim scores. That's a weird header, wasn't it? Like, bullet headed it. Balls over the top. Cancelo should deal with it. Does not deal with it too comfortably. There we go. This is where we want him. In an attacking position. Ball's whipped in. That's a fair ball, to be fair, considering he got knocked. Nice from Cancelo. Oh, I tried to drill it into the box, but just didn't beat the first man. Okay, so 4-1 lead at the break. Have to say I wasn't expecting that when the game kicked off. But, um, yeah, it's been interesting. Cancelo really hasn't had the best first 45, but hopefully a lot more will come from him in the second half. Oh, big gap there. Finds Mane, puts it across the box, and here's bot time to score. Cancelo up against Salah here, this time dispossesses with ease. Eventually, our opponent decided to quit. Good shot. Cancelo got a pretty good rating in that game, but I think a lot of that is down to the assist. He had an alright match overall. So, um, yeah, obviously nice to get the assist, but uh, defensively, just does, it just lacks a bit of strength. Like, even with the anchor chem style, he can be a bit bullied by some of the elite attackers. But, um, yeah, I like him going forward. I think he's dribbling and passing a class. Game number three. Nice team. Maradona is very good this year and uh, not looking forward to facing that Salah. But um, yeah, it will be a good test once more. 
for uh, Cancela. Cancela catching up to Sauer and does well to get the block in. Can he keep it in? Yes. I actually thought that was going to go out. Tell you what, Cancela does not need much invitation to go forward. Just loves to do it naturally. Get ourselves a corner. Okay, 1-0 down at the break. Hopefully the changes we make at half-time can uh, help us get back into this one. Cancela, not the most convincing header. Oh, Cancela, that's a better header. Under pressure too. Here we go. Cancela. Bit of space. That's a good ball. Botheim first time strike and that's a good finish as well. Great finish. Come on, Cancela. Nice little run here. Put the ball on the inside for Botheim who flicks it past his defender and then almost scores a great goal. Cancela over the corner. What can we do here? It's a nice delivery. It's on the head of Gomez and it forces a save. Full time in this one then, how did Cancela do? Not too bad, once again got himself an assist which is nice. It's just his positioning that's a problem. He loves to get forward, he loves to shoot out of line. So um, instructions are probably going to be pretty important to this card. Okay, so game's done, let's now discuss this Zhao Cancela item. How did I find, that's Joe Gomez, how did I find this uh, Cancela item in game? Um, pretty good for the most part. Like There definitely are some downsides to this card versus some other fullbacks, but uh, there's also a lot of positives. The first thing I'm going to say though is, positioning is good if you like an attacking fullback, but if you don't like that, it will be a problem for you. This guy has high attack positioning and high um, attacking work rate, and because of that, he'll get forward a lot. He will get forward a lot naturally, and he will lose space in behind. So if you want to avoid that, stay back while attacking. Uh, instruction has to be on him, otherwise you're gonna find that uh, there's a bit of a gap in that left back spot because he will advance and he will um, get out of line. So uh, something to note straight away there. Obviously, if you're like an attacking fullback, you'll be used to that, that won't be a problem for you. But if you're not used to that, it's uh, definitely something to be aware of. When going forward, it has to be said, this card is very good. I like the dribbling a lot for a defender. His dribbling is really, really nice. And his passing and general distribution is also brilliant, to be fair. Like, his crossing was class for me. Short passing game was very good. And even his through balls um, are obviously very, very useful. His shooting also isn't bad for a defender. Like, this guy could definitely do a job in a more advanced role, either as a winger or even, you know, just as a midfielder. He could do a really, really nice job there. So you do get some utility value with this card. Anyway, he's a defender. Let's talk about him defensively. His tackling ability is actually quite nice, and so is his interceptions. The problem comes is when he's in there like one-on-one -on -one duels, and he just doesn't have the strength for it. Like he will get outmuscled by quite a few players, and that did happen um, for me, which was a uh, yeah a little bit frustrating. But honestly, other than the strength, there's a lot to like about this card. There isn't really you know another negative. There's just strength and also the fact they'll uh, run out of position. Other than that, it's a great card, and technically on the ball. He's really, really good. Now, is he worth picking up? Honestly, it all depends on what you want out of your fullback. Because in terms of defensive options, there are many better options. But in terms of like offensive options, I don't think there are too many better options. Like if you want a more solid defender, um, I would go for Rule Breakers Corner just because he's got some really good physicals and defensively they're fairly similar. But if you want an attacking fullback, as I say, you've got the choice of this Cancelo or Road to the Knockouts Robertson. And I would probably say Road to the Knockouts Robertson is a little bit better um, just because he's left-footed on the left side. But obviously, if you don't mind the fact that Cancelo's um, right-footed on the left side, then that won't be too much of a problem for you. Cancelo's passing is definitely better, but Robertson definitely edges him in terms of um, defending and physical. So, yeah, you definitely have some choices. Would you advise picking this guy up at his current price? I feel like he'll drop a little bit more, but um, it's still a good card. If you can get him as a right-back, if you can switch out your full-backs, you'll have yourself a very good full-back. Feel like I've rambled for long enough now. Pretty good card overall, but I do wish he was a little bit stronger in game. Anyway, any questions, pop them down below. Sorry for any confusion. I'm recording this at like 1am, so I'm pretty tired. Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.